Well, welcome back. You know, June is National Dairy Month, but if you're not one to drink cow's milk, there are, of course, all kinds of alternatives on the market. There's soy, coconut, almond, just to name a few. But there are pros and cons and things that you might not know. So this is a great segment to have in June. Julie Brown is here, and she's the Nutrition Program Manager at Lifetime Fitness. Good morning. It's good to have you here. Thanks for having me back. So I, you, we love your segments when you come on. So if people want to find you, which club are you typically at? So I actually work at the corporate office, which okay. is out in Chanhassen. But we okay. have a team of nutrition coaches at all of our area locations. I would be happy to help anybody with questions they have. Because a lot of people walk in and they have questions because you guys do have such a great menu in your lifetime cafes. So let's talk about this. Yeah. A lot of people don't drink milk, but they want the calcium and they want mm -hmm. the nutritional benefits of milk. Plus, they love the yeah. taste of it. So lots of options on the market, right? For sure. And, and you know, traditional cow's milk doesn't always agree with everybody. It can be kind of inflammatory and then people can have intolerances to it. So if you're avoiding cow's milk dairy, like you said, there's an array of options out there. We The most common one you'll see is almond milk. Yep. Then we've come, we've also started to see coconut milk. And the most recent one I've seen on the market is oat milk. Oat milk. Oat milk. Now, each one of these is made by kind of soaking um, its parent ingredient in water, and then we kind of strain off the byproducts, and what you're left with is this really hearty, creamy milk. Yes, and I actually drink almond milk mm -hmm. that is coconut it has yeah. coconut, coconut flavor. Coconut and almond, yeah. yep. And there's cashew out there as well. Oh, yeah. So you want to be mindful of what you're looking for. And a lot of folks just have to try different things. The, the key as a consumer that you want to be mindful of is they are not all created equal. So there's two things that I always tell folks that you really want to watch out for. Number one, is it sweetened? So here's a catch. This guy says original on it right here. And this guy has about seven to eight grams of added sugar. Whereas this unsweetened one right here that's coconut, this one doesn't have any added sugar, which yep. is really great. Yep. Um, you can find ones that have a vanilla flavor to them, which is nice. But again, you got to be care careful to get the unsweetened version. Yeah, because you just don't want that extra sugar if you mm -hmm. don't have to. Because you Not can add all. sugar with other things Absolutely. like berries. Great and... flavor. So what are we going to make today? Oh, we are going to make a sunrise smoothie, which is going to be Sunrise nice. smoothie. Okay, yep. and what kind of protein are we going to use? Whey we protein. We're actually going to use a whey protein. Now, the good news is if you are avoiding dairy, we have some options. But we're going to do a nice whey today. It is an easy way for folks to get a good amount. Now, I want to ask you, Belle, which, which oh, I'm gonna go milk with, do you want to um, use? I'm going to go with... You want the unsweetened? Yeah, I Let's go with go that, that one. one. I've never tried this one. I'll try that the one, though. oat milk is super creamy, which is nice. But this guy, we're going to add about a cup to a cup and a half. How much uh, protein do you Actually, want? Actually, I've got it right here pre-measured pre for oh, us. Of course you do. Right there. You can dump it in. That's about... So, if you're not going to do whey protein, what are the other two proteins There's a plant-based like? protein that you can use, okay. which is made from pea and rice, or a collagen protein, which is nice. So, none of the, they're not going to have any dairy byproducts oh, in Oh, and you know, right. Dave actually does collagen. Dave yep. Schwartz, and that is like a, such mm -hmm. a good thing. Yep. I don't do that. I, maybe I should do that. Now, check this out. I'm going to throw some greens in there, sister. You know what? And no one knows that because yep. you can do that with your so kiddos easy. and no one knows. So easy. And a little bit of vanilla for, ooh, well, a lot of vanilla. That was a lot of vanilla. That, but way that's too okay. much. <laughs> that came out way too fast. Oh, I'm putting the wrong cover on. Okay, I'm going to back gonna, up. We're going to have quite the smoothie here. <laughs> that would have been there bad, huh? It you know, it is great when you can nice. throw some spinach in your kid's smoothie and they have no idea, right? They have and no again, idea. if you mix this up really nicely, and you can throw a couple of ice cubes in there to give it a little bit more texture if they want, but look at that color. Isn't that nice? It's so nice. Everybody's going to be so excited to drink that. Do this you guy, like this vegan protein? I do, actually. It's very smooth. It has a really nice flavor to it, and unlike a lot of other vegan proteins that are out there, um, you're not going to have that grittiness that everybody complains about. So that's wonderful. Enjoy. There we go. Well, and you put this recipe on our website, we did. right? We sure did. Well, we really appreciate it. And again, if you want more information at all the Lifetime Fitnesses, you can go and ask for their nutrition folks and they will help you. Thanks for coming in again.